baker on again. I'm on her Wi-Fi now, so we'll see how this works. Um, mm -hmm. Well, you're not really in. No, it's fine. So. I'll move in. So you're good. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you do live things. It's learning. Um, okay, so in my foodie, I have uh, the chicken breast for dinner tonight. Um, here's the seasonings. It's bacon. I use, and to, because I like to be budget friendly and save my time, I just buy real bacon bits and garlic and onion powder, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to dump all that in and then I'm going to top it because I'm not pressure cooking this. I'm not using a whole cup of the chicken stock. I'm only going to use a half a cup and I'm just going to eyeball it because that's what I do. And then this is going to be cooking on high. And then tonight I'll um, add the cream cheese and shred the chicken and serve it over my mashed potato cauliflower mixture and my husband will be happy. My one negative with the Ninja Foodie is the three different lids you have to have, but I'll live with my three different lids. Okay, so I'm going to go off and put this on high. Be right back. And what's our next recipe that we're going to do? The next one's going to be the amazing low-carb grilled chicken. Let me go ahead and start mixing up the seasonings. This just makes it so much easier to just go ahead and, and put everything together and then just dump it in. For white wine, use white, not red. <laughs> <laughs> Are these the bags? Okay, yes. tip number two is always pre write on your bag. This is for the tiny barbecue pork chops. So, tip number two write on your baggie and already have it open so that you don't have to fumble with it. And believe me, you think you're going to remember what is in the rest in the bag? I did it again this week. I went to my freezer. I don't know what's in the bag because I didn't write on it. So please, don't do like me. Okay, so we're making the um, amazing low-carb grilled chicken. And here's my brown sugar substitute. Okay, we're gonna need some more bracks. And that's where this one comes in. Oh, I have bracks in my fridge. Okay. I went to Walmart because I was out of white wine vinegar, I was out of rags, and so I had to buy coconuts, aminos for the first time. I've never actually bought this, so we'll see how good it is. Um, they were completely out of rags. Tip number four, if we're counting, have a drink handy. I'm always wanting to be hydrated, and I just, I drink all the water all day. Okay, so all of the ingredients? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, brown sugar? Right here. Got the brags right here. So here's this liquid. So if you want okay. to go ahead and. My cup is full. These are so simple, just dump recipes. The only one that really isn't completely dump is going to be the hamburger patties because I'm going to have to mix it, but everything else is just dump, dump, dump. Freeze, go. It's super, super, super simple. We can eyeball it. I don't have to have exact. Okay, done. Eyeballing is good. <laughs> All right. Is it a quarter cup? A uh, half a cup of brown sugar. Okay. That's got to be too expensive. Do you have a... So there we go. So it might even be easier if we're doing this together to go ahead and just put all of the seasonings together and just have one person doing one job, another person doing the wet, another person doing the dry, and then it just all moves together so quickly. Teaspoon of black pepper 
and two teaspoons minced garlic. You can just, you know, eyeball a big tablespoon so it doesn't crunch, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all. So simple. I'm going to go wash my hands again because I'm touching the raw chicken. Okay. This moves so fast. Street. Stop it. What's he doing? He said, can I get a biscuit? Oh! <laughs> okay, so that's it. You just dump your ingredients in the bag, throw in your chicken, and you can eat this tonight on your grill, throw it in your freezer, and then pull it out whenever you want. And you don't have to grill these. These recipes, um, I like grilling again. If you watch any of my lives over the weekend, I love it because my husband does most of the grilling. So then I don't have to. Um, but you can bake these, you can cook these in your skillet. Um, this doesn't have to be grilled, but again, I like grilling recipes because I don't have to cook. So, recipe one is down. Okay, third of a cup of lemon juice. Oh, this is the cilantro lime chicken? Yes. Okay. So, just squeeze it in here. Or squeeze it in there, whatever you want, I don't care. Okay. I'm going to call that a third of a cup, right? No. I do know this. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we work well together. Okay, here's the olive oil. Oh, this is even better. Now this is super easy. Yeah. Okay, the cilantro. Got it right here. Pre-cut my cilantro. Okay. Salt, 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 salt. Right in front of you. All my measuring spoons. This is why we have so many. Uh, pepper, half a teaspoon, and brown cumin. So, guys, this is so easy. Freeze them, and we're good to go. All right, there's that one. Done. Okay, just gonna switch this around, and then. So one thing I did is I went to my freezer, which if you've been around, you know, I like to just go to my freezer. So this is technically still frozen. I just pulled it out and brought it here, took it up, I opened it. So this is going in frozen, but it'll be fine because we're going to thaw it in the fridge before we eat it. Just make sure you remove the paper that's on the back. If I can, put it up. Chicken. We are. It's not chicken on crack. It's cracked chicken. It's in the Ninja Foodie on high. So here is recipe number two. Just push it around a little bit. It'll lay in your um, freezer like this. And then when it's time, just pull it out the night before and let it thaw. Okay, and the last one is the... Um I think I'm making more of a mess than you are. Okay. While Laura is um, mixing, I'm going to go ahead and just dump the hamburger meat in here and get it ready for the next recipe. Make enough hamburger patties for five adults, so 
Um, I double. Uh, you don't have to. Okay, this is ready. Okay. So that's the one that we go. I have two. Okay. So for the amazing tangy, zingy, whatever I call them, pork chops, what we do is we create a marinade and a barbecue sauce in one. I love, love, love this recipe that I did. I love most of my anyway, but whatever. Not biased. So we'll use half of this for the marinade and the other half we will um, put in a baggie and then when it's time to, to grill, we'll pour um, this into a little saucepan and reduce it and we're making homemade barbecue sauce just like that. Here's another bag. Okay, and then the last one is the this went so fast. I am just amazed. Okay. So that's all you're doing with that. And then I'm going to pour the rest there. of that. You have right there's the tangy barbecue sauce. Okay. Hold that open. And uh, those chicken thighs? Know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you. I don't know what you can see while I'm way back there. Um, so here's the pork chops and the marinade, and then get out as much air as possible. So, uh, and then if we're counting tips, here's tip number four, five, six, whatever it is. So I doubled the baggie for the um, marinade so that if it does leak, it actually has like an extra protection of um, making a mess. And I'm literally just going to add that bag to my other bag. Right here. And so then recipe number three is done. Do you want to, okay, do you want to go ahead and do the sirloin? Yep. Let me open my sirloin. So this is also frozen. Um, this is one of the ones I get, buy one, get one free or for a penny. And uh, um, so this is still frozen. I've got my marinade. I'm going to put it this in the marinade and then it's going to go back in my freezer. recipe except for the hamburger recipe is a dump recipe and technically I consider the hamburger recipe to be dump as well because you dump it in a bowl you mix it and you put it in the bag it doesn't require much of anything there's no cooking or anything so Laura did this one before we started this got real full so basically you just dump all the Greek sirloin bowl ingredients like so and there's that on the bottom Add in my sirloin steak and move the you seal it for me. My hands are needy. Okay. And you can show them, and that's it. That's the super, super 100% dump Pepper. bag. Pepper in the nose makes you sneeze. <laughs> um, and so this is just going to go back in my freezer just like this. And now is the final recipe, which is a delicious recipe. My whole family, they ate every single hamburger that was available. Um, this one, I'm going to take my rings off. I'm about to get messy. Okay. All the ingredients are right there in that um, container. And the horseradish. And the horseradish, just thrush, thrush, thrush. Um, all but the cheese. Okay. Oh, the eggs. Okay. It doesn't, I forgot, it's not on there, and two eggs. Okay. Now, this absolutely amazing hamburger recipe calls for horseradish. You can't really taste it. It just adds, like a, it's kind of like when I add my cocoa Some powder to my chili. 
just adds a little something. But if you are really nervous about horseradish, and then there's, I feel like I'm shushing too much. Um, <laughs> if you don't think you'll like it, you can add none or you can teaspoon. Um, but I add, uh, we do two tablespoons or one? Two. Two tablespoons. Uh, I'm a Texas girl through and through, and I found out when I lived in Wisconsin that people put horseradish stuff on sandwiches, and I thought they were insane. Now I can't get enough. I just love it. Okay, that's it. This is mixed. This recipe, one other thing I do love about it is we use real bacon bits again. I'm saving time, and I'm saving my money. And then I'm going to add the cheese straight into it. I already pre-shredded it. Now you don't have to use a block like I do. I've said previously that I don't know if the sawdust is true that they talk about that they coat pre-shredded cheese with it. And I also save money when I get this, the big block from Costco. And that's one pound of ground beef? It's two pounds of ground two pounds. beef. Um, yeah. And I think I shredded too much cheese, so I'm gonna save this for the cracked chicken tonight. And I have a tip, but I'm not even really sure if it's a real tip. I've heard it over and over and seen on cooking shows. When you make homemade hamburgers, you kind of put an indention or almost a hole in the middle. And so when it cooks and it shrinks up, there's a void. And so it doesn't become the real fat, fat patty. Um, it just is more normal looking. Okay. And that is it. Goodness gracious. Dinner's done for a week, guys. And if you have someone like Laura's husband is um, dairy intolerant. Yeah, he'd be dying right now seeing this. So yeah. <laughs> she could make up a mix of, for him, put it in his own bag, and then put her mix in another bag. Because I love cheese. <laughs> And because we already have cheese and bacon in it, you don't have to add, but if you're my husband, you might want some bacon and extra cheese on top. But if you're trying to cut, you know, your budget down, this is a very budget friendly way to get some hamburgers. I'm gonna go wash my hands for right. like the seventh, eighth, ninth time. And cleanup is super simple because we use bags. All that we're gonna have to clean up is this bowl and the measuring spoons, which is why we have so many. Uh -oh. And this is all there is for cleanup. And wipe this out, and that's it. All right, so next time, Laura's going out of town for two weeks, and then I'm going to be gone for a week. Um, yes. Super, super quick. I'm all about quick and easy. Who wants to spend their life in the kitchen if you're not a chef? I don't. So, um, Laura and I are going to do this again in a couple weeks. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. If we're going to do, I feel like we should still do a couple freezer recipes, but we might do uh, maybe some breakfast prep or something like that or lunch prep. We aren't sure exactly. We were just talking about it. Um, but I've got five dinners that are going into my freezer when I get home. I've got dinner made right here when I get home. Um, I've already got the cheese shredded, and I think I add cream cheese and shredded cheese, and I'm going to serve it over my mashed potato recipe, and I'll tell you what it is super fast. A bag of frozen cauliflower, one to two squash, depending on how big your yellow squash are. I now peel mine because my boys, when they see the yellow, know it's got squash in it, and so by peeling it, they don't know. And then I add, depending on the size of the on-plant potatoes, if they're about this big, let's see how big do you see? <laughs> I don't know, two inches, I'll add probably eight. So that means between five adults, we're getting, do your math, I'm not doing the math for you, I don't even know, one point something. Anyway, I boil that until everything is super tender, drain it well. One time I didn't drain it good enough and it was a little um, runny and they didn't like that. So drain it well mash it and then I add two ounces of reduced fat cream cheese and then that right there can be ate with any fuel source because the two ounces of reduced fat cream cheese for five people and then um, the eight potatoes between five adults 
is one point whatever, uh, 1.3, 1.6, I don't know. Um, so that's not enough to put too many carbs or anything. So we're gonna have the cracked chicken over that tonight and maybe a side salad. So I've got six dinners done and it took, no, I don't even know how long I've been live, but I took no time at all. Um, so we'll do this again. I'll be sharing um, the recipes. I will pre-share the recipes. So if you want to follow along, you absolutely can. And uh, I try to make things budget options as well. Like for my sirloin steak, not everybody can find buy one, get one free sirloin steak. But if you do like the Greek flavors, just use chicken. You don't have to use a sirloin steak. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. And you want to say bye, Laura? Bye. Bye. See you in a few weeks.